Coming up today on Local 4 News First at 4. 80 and 90 years old and still going strong. We're talking to two teachers who are still working full time. And in fact, one is taking a vacation to climb a mountain. We're talking about two instructors still teaching full time. That's this right. one's 90 and you're about to turn 85, right? Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they give me the secret to their longevity. Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News First at 4 starts now. Many of us dream of retiring someday, maybe in our 60s or 70s, but two local college professors have no desire to stop working, and they're already 85 and 90 years old. Paula Tutman introduces us to these amazing men at U of D Mercy. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm having trouble keeping up with this guy. I'm actually a little out of breath, and I don't even hear you panting at all. In fact, we're going to introduce you to 175 years of incredible experience, and you're going to go, oh, my gosh, I'm going to be that when I grow up. I'm out of breath, and you're not. That's crazy. <laughs> Just try to keep up with Father Jerry Cavanaugh as he power walks the track at University of Detroit Mercy. He will leave you breathless. He's getting in shape for his annual trek to the Shenandoah Mountains for a little hiking and mountain climbing with some of his students, something he's been doing for decades. For the students, it's the first time they've really seen the wildflowers. It's a glorious time, the waterfalls. Inside the various campus buildings, students are taking finals, but don't mind taking a moment for a photo op with Father Gerald Albright. Secondary, primary calluses. These two gentlemen are not only incredibly accomplished instructors, but both are still full-time teachers. Even though Father Jerry will be 85 this year and Father Gerald just turned 90. And in fact, when Father Albright first started teaching, even the subject of biology was different. When I first taught here in uh, 1956, summertime, uh, I taught a general biology course. And there was just a passing reference to that little something we're now all familiar with, DNA. Now so much is known about the inner workings of chromosomes. The secret to their soundness, not necessarily genetics. They have outlived and outpaced parents and siblings by many years. They think it's how they use their minds. Father Kavanaugh is known around the world for his textbook, American Business Values. It's in its sixth edition, and it's even part of Harvard University's core reading. I'm, I'm really happy to be able to teach the material that I do, uh, to be able to work with young people, students. I think that keeps you young, too. Father Albright is known as a tough but fair instructor who challenges his students. The main reason I like teaching and being active in teaching is I work with students closely. In the morning, I wake up. Yeah, very often, and, and I say, I, I knock on wood, it's another day, and, and I figure I've outlived my warranty, that I'm, you know, I'm still here, I'm still alive. And if you think, for a moment, they have neared retirement age, think again. They're not even close. Paula Tutman, Local 4. Wow, what role models. Thank you, Paula.